Welcome. This is Dark Linear. And I went to see Glass yesterday. Is it worth seeing? Mm. Yes. Emily Chumlin, I guess, going through his superhero phase, I think he went into trying to make a superhero movie. And it's the only reason why I say it's worth seeing is this is one of those things where you have to see it to believe it yourself. <laughs> it's one of those moments you can't really pinpoint whether it's bad or not. Until you see it. I wouldn't say it's bad. It's watchable. I sat through it, so it's, it's pretty good. I can say it's pretty good. Is it say it watchable? No, not rewatchable. I mean, no, stop it. So you have to watch it for, without thinking first, and then think about it later, and then after you think about it and think about it hard, it's one of the movies you got to turn your entire brain off in order to like this movie. If you have to turn your brain off and like this movie because you have to think about Split the movie. First, you gotta think about what Split was actually about. And then, I never seen Unbreakable. I don't know if this has, it was, has any relation to this movie at all. I'm gonna go see Unbreakable. I'm gonna go watch it. No, I guess go see it. I'm gonna walk, take the time to go look up this movie, Unbreakable, and I'm gonna see if it has any relation to this movie. But this movie, this movie, without thinking, without my brain being on, on the whole time, was good. But my brain on, I say it is terrible. <laughs> and now it's more like intellectually terrible because the thing you get think about the bad guy, the I don't even know. Usually in these type of movies, there's a bad guy. It's kind of funny. It's more like, I want to see it. I don't know. It seemed like more, I mean, Samuel, the character, Glass, was just there. He was, he just wanted to see two people fight. And whatnot. They kind of, what do you call, made a backstory out there behind for <laughs> the beast. Made a backstory. A backstory about the behind that connected the two together. Out there behind were both the characters that connected all three of them together. They, you would never see this in Split. You no reference whatsoever in any of the other movies that it's come from. There's no relation whatsoever. If he, if he was going to tag this movie, he should have had some correlations with the movie, and there's none. And just, they just Threw it up. See, this is their backstory. Yeah, okay, we need a backstory for these two characters. And just, um, we, we can make it make sense somehow. But anyway, would I give this movie? Is it worth the fifteen dollars you would pay for it? Cause I didn't have to pay for it, not necessarily. But would it worth the fifteen dollars? No. It's, I mean, maybe. Okay, I'm going to give you a guess. It depends on how you're going to go to see the movie. You're just going to go to see the movie, enjoy the movie. Yes, it's what it is. Go ahead and go see it. Spend the $15, and then if you don't like it, you can ask. <laughs> I can wish you could say you could ask for your money back when you're saying that you're lost. Yes, well. But. It's one of the movies you got just for M. Night Shyamalan. Uh, I know Nostalgia Creator always gives you beef. <laughs> but how bad your movies get. Uh, I wouldn't say he did a good job with this one. Nope. I'm not even going to say that. <laughs> it's, it's not terrible, but it's not. It's okay. Ish. <laughs> But anyway, tell me if you've seen the movie, tell me what you thought or below the comment section. This is Dirt Flame out. I use